Killington, Vermont, home to the largest ski area in the eastern United States, and the Killington Ski Resort, also affectionately known as the Beast of the East. Now, the Killington Resort website mentions that winter overnight camping is welcome, so we decided to pack up our camper van and make our way to the mountains of Vermont for a quick winter camping adventure. All right, so we finally made it to Killington. We're, we're starting out the day with some tubing. So Eva and uh, mom are going tubing and uh, we're gonna see how it works out. It's a nice day, it's about 16 degrees, so a little chilly, but it's beautiful, sunny, no wind, so see how it works. Okay, great, you got your tube, Eva? Now, let's get in front of it, sit down. Are your buns in? Hold on to the sides. Oh boy. What'd you think? <laughs> All right, that's what I wanted to hear. All right, now this is the interesting part. See how the guy hooks it on and then it pulls you up. Got it? And then we ride up. All right, and then hop out when you get close to the top. So this isn't a very graceful dismount. You just like, no. Okay. You gotta be flopping on the ground. All right, that sounds very pleasant. Thank you. <laughs> this part somewhat uncomfortable this cable yowzers all right hop one out eva probably not going to be my most graceful dismount but we're going to give it a go ah. yes landed stuck the landing that's what i'm going for thanks all right so it looks like we had a successful run time to hit the slopes day at Killington. Crowds were minimal, slopes were good, conditions were great, beautiful weather outside. What did you like about the tubing? I liked it when it goes down and then you come up back up and I walked all the way and I took the slopes. Did you ride on the lift? Yes I did. Did you ride on your stomach or on your buns? Buns. Yeah overall it was a good experience so. Now next on the agenda is trying to find uh, place to eat and we're gonna do the, the overnight parking here so we can go to hit the slopes in the morning and we're gonna camp out in the RV it's supposed to get down to a balmy five degrees Fahrenheit so hopefully we'll be okay we won't freeze to death you ready team Gibson let's hit it let's go get some to eat we ended up getting a recommendation and we're able to get a table at a great distillery called still on the mountain where we got warmed up, ate some good food, and then headed over to the overnight parking lot to get settled in for the night. Still on the mountain. <laughs> Pretty good dinner. Yeah, good drinks. Well, it's a distillery, so they should have good drinks. So the sun has gone down. It's brisk. We're gonna go grab a little uh, after dinner dessert somewhere and then go scout out our overnight camping area and uh, pack it in for the night. Now there are two ways you can get to the overnight lot, which is located approximately five miles southeast from the Killington Resort K1 Lodge, right alongside Route 4. We ended up taking Killington Road to Route 4, but if the road conditions are good and you don't mind a few twists and turns, I would say East Mountain Road could be a little bit faster. All right, so we made it finally to uh... It's the overflow lot. It's the overnight camping area for uh, Killington. It's right here by the Sky Sheep uh, Lodge. Sky Ship Lodge, I'm sorry. And it's uh, yeah, just basically an empty parking lot. So yeah, we just got set up here. We arrived, it's about 6.30 or so. And it's uh, right now 15 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So it's a little, a little chilly. But overall, looks like it'll be a pretty comfortable uh, stay tonight. The ground is it's not paved or anything, but it's uh, 
fairly level. I mean, it's got some dips and stuff in it, obviously, because it, it got wet. But it's level enough to sustain what we are trying to do. There's uh, about four or five camper vans here. There's actually a big trailer here. Um, some truck campers, some people in cars. The road here doesn't seem too busy. You know, it's, already, it's only 6.30. So it should probably quiet down in the evening. Slated to get down to, I think, three degrees Fahrenheit tonight. So we're gonna have that heater uh, pumping all night. So now we're just chilling in here. We got three, two adults and one child. And we're trying to uh, organize everything with keeping everything clean. This floor, like, it just attracts it's dirt. There's all kinds of salt and dirt in here. Salt and dirt. But to be expected. Uh, this area is pretty cool. I mean, overall, it's, uh, it's free. I mean, you can park here as long as you want. I think up to two days max, I'm sorry. But it's not a campground. There's no hookups or bathrooms or, you know, electricity or anything like that. No sewage or anything. Overall, it feels pretty safe. I mean, there's a lot of people here tonight and, you know, there's no security guards or anything like that. But it doesn't feel like kind of weird or sketchy or anything like that. At least not to me. <laughs> Maybe to the wife. All right, time to bed down. The pop top's a little too cold tonight. Eva's gonna sleep on the makeshift bed on the couch. We got a balmy nine degrees. So anyway, it was a good day today. Look forward to morning. And another beautiful day in Vermont. So with that, buenas noches. So, I would say overall we slept good. Went to bed like at 10, woke up at like, I don't know, six o'clock or something. But the parking area was full last night. I counted 30 vehicles total camping. So that was pretty good on a Saturday night, I guess. But it wasn't noisy. There was zero noise from the road or anything like that. Nobody's running generators all night or anything. But overall, it was uh, pretty uneventful in the parking lot. So we're just going to hang out here for a little while and then get some breakfast going and then head on in to, uh, I think we're going to check out Okimo today, which is about 15 miles south of this parking lot. How did, was your bed comfortable? Yes. Was the blanket warm? Still warm. So that's it, we wrapped up the morning, finished up breakfast, and uh, we're about to hit the road. Everybody looks like they're just about out of here, and now the, you know, just the daily skiers are coming in to park. So it's getting kind of crowded in here, so. It's about 10 a.m., we're about to get out. Thanks for joining us on our quick winter camping adventure in Kellington. If you happen to have any questions about our experience, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.